Welcome to Renfrew Pizzeria. Now, Renfrew Pizzeria is a family-owned pizza shop in Renfrew, Ontario, Canada. They are active in their local community, and they are very well known, actually, in their small vicinity. And they've actually won several awards for the best pizza in town. Now, up until now, Renfrew Pizzeria relied on word of mouth and being active in the community in order to generate business. Now, business is actually doing pretty good, but they realized that there's always room to do better, and they were open to give social media a try. Now, they did have a Facebook page as well as some fans, but the problem was their Facebook page looked more like a personal page versus a business page. They were not really posting any pictures of their food, more of just their family and the community involvement that they have. So we wanted to make, you know, keep that there, but also show people what they were all about. Now, the first thing that we wanted to do is increase their fan base. So you can see we increased with some with their page likes. You can see their page likes steadily increased once we started taking over. Now, the most important thing about this is that these page likes are people that are targeted. So people that live within the area and they're interested in eating pizza and eating French fries, fast food, takeout, delivery, those types of meals, and they live in the vicinity. So it's a targeted group. Now here, now here you can see that the page, rate, dr page reach drastically increased. And what page reach means is that more and more people have the ability to see the page and the post. As you can see here before, the page reach was very small. And once we took over, it dramatically increased. And the more people that can see the page and see the post, the better exposure they get. The more exposure they get, the more opportunity there are people, or people are going to start walking into those doors. Now here we're highlighting the actual post. This is before. Now here is the reach, and then here is the engagement. Now the individual post reach before was pretty low, and the engagement was pretty low and inconsistent. You can see this one was not bad, but then this one was pretty poor. And one of the problems, once again, is that although they were a food establishment, they were not showing pictures of their food. So we, of course, wanted to change that. And here are the after statistics. This is showing the reach of every post is almost all over 1,000, and it had consistent engagement as well as interactions. So the more people that can see these posts, the better that it's going to be. Now over here in the engagement, you can see it's pretty high. This is actually the business owner she likes to post on there as well. But you can see the ones that we worked on had a lot of much more reach and a lot of engagement as well. And once again, the more engagement reach, the more that shares goes viral, the better it's going to be because it's exposing the business once again. Here we actually reached a milestone while we were working on their page, reaching 500 likes, which was pretty exciting. And once again, we're focused on targeted likes. So that's gonna grow. It's not gonna skyrocket to a thousand overnight because it takes time to make sure that they're the proper people that are on the page, right? So so here we have, here we have, as you can see, more posts and and their reactions. And look at this one had over 307 reactions, right? That's amazing. Now, as we keep going, I'm going to show you and highlight some of the different posts that were on the page. Now, one thing that we want to make sure that when we are posting on the page is that it's not only displaying the products, the services, the food that it has to offer, but they all want to foster some type of engagement. What this does is that it makes your current fans your biggest ambassadors, and it also attracts new clients along the way, and it gives social proof. If somebody is saying this is the best pizza they ever tasted and everybody's saying that, well, then, you know, it's probably some pretty good pizza. So it really helps with having your current clients, your ambassadors, when you're bringing on new people into the atmosphere, right? And also these posts demonstrate social selling. What social selling is, is that we're building relationships with every single comment that comes on the page, and we're encouraging fans to visit in a soft, subtle type of way. Now, here's one of our posts that we love. This post focuses on tagging. So it says, tag your friend, tag a friend who loves chicken wings, and goes to the menu, then the phone number to make your order. But the tagging makes the post even more viral, and it exposes the business to more people. In addition, by tagging, it's also seen as a sense of endorsement from one person to the another. If you're tagging me and saying, hey, let's go here and eat chicken wings, well, you've probably had their chicken wings and you like it, so you're recommending that we go to Together. So as you can see, that's very powerful. And in this post, you can see people are tagging their friends. This one's tagging Blake. This one was tagging Carol. This one's tagging Amanda. So 
here, and they're actually also the ones that are already there. For example, Tyler is saying the wings are top-notch, and they highly recommend it. So this one is a very powerful one. It had five shares and over 33 reactions. Now here's another one with tagging. This is tagging a friend. You want to share an amazing slice of Renfu Pizzeria. So here it says pizza worth tagging. And you can see all these people tagging, 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 right? And then every day and every time somebody says something, we reply. So for this one says, Daniel would eat pizza every meal a day. We said pizza every day doesn't sound too bad, right? So we're building the relationship here. And all these people are tagging. Look at this person here. She said right here, I got to bring my sister, Gloria Jean, there soon, which is great. And so we're saying any day is a good day for pizza. So as you can see, that one was very popular here with all the tagging. So more and more people see it. Now, as we mentioned before, one of the problems with the page is they weren't highlighting their food enough. So we wanted to make sure that we showed that yummy, cheesy pizza that, that they offer at the location. So here we made sure we highlight that. And throughout the different posts, we make sure that we highlight their food. And then here we have a picture of the actual storefront. Now, the great thing about this is that people can actually see what the location looks like, right? So they're driving by and they'll be, oh, I recognize that. And that's great. We had 58 reactions and 11 shares. So it was becoming viral. People that are their current customers are spreading the word because they're their biggest am ambassadors, right? With sharing this with their friends. So that was a great post there. And then we also had the opportunity to use Facebook as a platform to introduce specials we can see the interest and look at the direct results. So for example, they wanted to increase the, the sales on their bits and bytes menu, which is basically their side items. So we did a Facebook deal. Mention you saw this deal on Facebook and get 15% off our yummy bits and bytes menu. Click the link to see the menu, call and make your order. So you can see this was shared five times and over 20 reactions. People, their ambassadors, best food in town, yum. And there's they're asking about the ravioli. This one's tagging somebody. But you can see right there with this link, we actually tracked it. And they had 59 total clicks to their link to see their menu of the bits and bytes menu, which is awesome, right? So now there's 59 new people or current you know, people that now have more information on their bits and bytes menu. And they did, in fact, get several calls to cash in on this deal. Now, Facebook also allows very detailed targeting. So in order to put a an ad in front of the proper audience, now they have a gluten-free menu, which is becoming more and more popular, but a lot of people don't know anything about it. So we were able to put up an ad that specifically specifically focused on gluten-free items. So right here, it says, have you tried our gluten-free menu? We highlighted this, the gluten-free spaghetti and lasagna. And when we put up this ad, we specifically targeted people that are gluten-free. So it went in front of the proper audience, the audience that we want to see this, so they know that gluten-free is available at Renfrew Pizzeria, right? So that's a great opportunity to really highlight something specific to a targeted audience. Now here's our Facebook check-in program. This has been the Facebook check-in program was implemented at the location. Now what this is, is that you put up this sign in the location and it basically encourages people to check in on Facebook. When they check in on Facebook, it shows up on their page for all of their friends to see where they are. And so right here, it says, they are eating pizza at Renfrew Pizzeria. And let me make this a little bit larger. And it shows that, so they posted this on their page and 13 of their friends liked the post. So it showed up on their news feeds and their friends could actually see where they are. Once again, a type of endorsement, right? A type of endorsement. So this is the check-in functionality and it's a great thing to implement into your business. This is another person that checked in. She had one, two, three, four, five, six people and a share that were interested in her check-in at Renfrew Pizzeria. Right. So another thing to point out is that reviews, reviews are very important. And the team responds to every review that is written to further build a relationship even stronger. So here's somebody that left a nice five star review and we replied to it once again, building that relationship. Another five star review, once again, responding and building that relationship. 
So in summary, Rent Through Pizza has relied on word of mouth marketing as well as being active in the community to establish a science, solid client base of loyal regulars. However, with that model, growth can be slow. Therefore, after implementing Facebook marketing strategies, they now have a real online presence. This online presence has grown their business and exposed it to a new set of people that may have not been aware of them before. We've been able to showcase their food, their menu, as well as their accomplishments and reviews. Now the city of Renfrew knows where to go for the best pizza in town.